All right, Solutionary Sunday. All right, so I want to kind of map out Solutionary Sundays, what they kind of look like, what is going to be going forward, and how we're going to continue to develop and grow the community of Solutionaries. Um, one, where are my notes? Oh. One, um, Solutionary Sunday is just uh, kind of a portion I developed because everybody needs a solution to a problem. There are continuous numbers of problems, continuous things that need to be corrected, continuous things that need to happen differently and better, and we need a solution to them. Um, and over the years, unconsciously, unconsciously, I have kind of developed, created, and made solutions um, to help people with issues, problems, thoughts, and everything. So I figured it's a good way for me to kind of communicate and, you know, build with other people and more people and developing solutions and ways to, you know, resolve issues, problems, uh, or anything that arises. Um, we don't always have all the answers as people, but as human beings and being able to connect with one another, being able to bounce an idea off of another person will help you come up with an answer better. So let's hop into Solutionary Sundays, uh, first edition, first day of the year, first day of the month, first day of the week, uh, 2023, Sunday, 1-1-23. We are in Solutionary mode. So um, is it okay if we like call y'all Solutionaries? It's like everybody that joins, that asks questions, that is just, you know, a visitor, be a Solutionary. Think about ways to create solutions. Think about ways to develop um, answers, and answers aren't aren't always what we think they, what we think they, what we think we want them to be, or what they actually are. Answers are, you know, just giving the most logical and emotional perspective in combination to someone where. A rational and a profitable decision are made for you know yourself, somebody else around you. So let's hop into some solutionary ideas. Um, it's new year, new week, new day. Um, and so we got to start making new actions as solutionaries. We have to make the actions that develop the outcome that we want, even though if the action isn't something we want to do at the moment, we have a uh, desired outcome. We have a point and a purpose we want to reach, we want to get to, we want to uh, strive to be as people. So these actions have to be made in um, in alignment with the direction you're going. So every time you're about to do something, you're about to solve a problem, you're about to help somebody, you're, you're about to do something, um, think about is that action um, in direct alignment with what you're working on um so you can you can speed up and streamline the process of a lot of things you're doing by simply looking at the actions you're making thinking about the things that you are doing in order to reach a goal to get to a place to improve yourself whatever it is is that in alignment to where you're going and what you're doing so um if you want to start a business well are you watching Netflix after your nine to five when you get home? Um, if you want to get stronger, are you um, eating snacks and drinking um, sugar based, you know, liquids uh, during the day? If you want to be healthier, are you eating pizza and burgers, or are you um, counting calories like? There's a solution to everything you want to do, everything you think about, everything that you're going through. So is that solution being solved by um, your actions? The actions that you take are very important in being able to create solutions for yourself. But not only do the actions, you got to get to your thought process. And are your thoughts, are, are the things that you're thinking about, are they in alignment with the direction you want to go in the direction that you plan to go in to do the things that you want to do what are the 
what what are your thought processes? What are your emotional feelings toward things? So if we go back to the few examples we were just listening about food, um, about uh, health, fitness, about business, about life, about people, um, are the actions that you're taking mentally going to be conducive to the things that you actually do? So if you want to have a better relationship with your friends, y'all got to start talking to each other differently. You got to start doing things differently with each other. Are y'all going out to the bars and just hanging out, drinking, watching TV? Or are y'all having a weekly meeting where you discuss how you can be a better friend or how you can help uh, develop something with them? Um, what type of friendship do you have? So like if if you begin to think in a more progressive state state and work with one another um developing solutions becomes easier because two minds is better than one and i just like to you know say a thing or two that we love to say here the mind isn't a terrible thing to waste because the mind can never be wasted but the mind is a terrible thing to not use you got the ability of of pure gods because you are descendant of God. Uh -huh. And if you believe and you got spiritual belief within yourself, you got to understand that being of something makes you a part of something. So uh, you got to go inside and start rendering that upper level of power, energy, aura about yourself. Grow a bigger ego. Because you are the only way that you'll be able to succeed at anything that you do. So you got you to gotta think about that. Um, everything can be solution-based. Solution-based. There's a solution to every problem, issue, thought that you've ever had in life. There are solutions to cancer. There are solutions to poverty. There are solutions to, to, to my cards not working. There's a solution to everything. So, like... If you are taking the time out to use your mind, that solution that you need to happen will happen. It is going to happen. Um, and so as we continue to grow the solution, solutionary community, solution-based structure, solutionary, um, we'll, we'll start taking in questions and we'll, we'll have one-on-one -on -one conversations with different people for about five minutes or two or three or four minutes, how many, however long it is to give a person a few different types of solutions in order for them to, you know, um, thrive on their journey, thrive in whatever they're working on. This is ideas inspire information. So ideas is basically things from your mind. Inspiration is the things that come from within yourself. And then the information is the action that you take. Information correlates with action. Inspiration correlates with your soul. And ideas correlates with your mind. So your mind, body, and soul, the actions that you make are going to take you to where you need to be going forward. And, and the only way to get there is by believing it first in your mind. So the mind is a terrible thing to not use because the mind can never be wasted. The mind is always working. Even when you're not using your mind for the the greater good of things, it's still being used. If you're watching a, a, a drama show, uh, you're you're breaking down the everything that's going on in the drama. So um, I just want you to know that your mind is so powerful and you have the ability to take your life, the people lives around you and people you, you don't even know right now to new levels, to new, new heights. Um, so, you know, it's a new year. You got new, new days, new weeks, new actions, new thoughts, new opportunities. And so the things that, are really for you, really are right in front of you. The things that you want or really need are right in front of you. They're one step away. It's, it's so close to you. Um, it's in your hand. You just have to grab hold of it. Grab hold of it and start making it what it is to be. Um, things are delivered to you in the time that you need them to be delivered. So that solution that you need, is really right here in your hand. You can change and do anything that you 
really put your mind to. Everything that we're doing now, somebody created by the thought process in their mind. So like every airplane, somebody thought about a craft flying. Every car, somebody thought about being able to transport faster. Every These cell phones, they, they thought about a way to communicate uh, uh, wirelessly. So there's a solution to everything here. Uh, I am T.O. Josh, what's up? Um, if you if you have any questions or um, there's something that you need help with, uh, drop it in the comments. Um, Miss Solutionary Sunday, it, we're dedicated to helping people create solutions, develop ways to improve, grow, get through, whatever it is, there's a solution for it. Um, I'm going to do my very best to help you, uh, you know, come to that solution. So if you got any questions, you drop it in the chat and uh we'll we'll talk it out but um yeah i'm i'm glad to be able to start this on the first day first month first week first first everything um solutionary sunday and i look forward to being right here live every sunday 345 every sunday at 345 solutionary sunday we're gonna um come in and talk um so it says why the ones that always there for for others doesn't have anyone to be there for them that's a great question i've seen that um in so many instances in life where there are people that give in abundance and what well, uh, uh matthew how you doing bro there are people that give in abundance and don't seem to, to receive back the things that they give um and i'd say you kind of got to look at the people that you're giving to and then you got to look at what you are giving um when you when you pour so much out um there needs to be a replenishing to pouring out so if i'm here to talk and help uh with issues or create solutions i need to be able to rejuvenate myself with with things that enlighten and inspire and grow myself so for people that give a lot and don't really receive back and they're and people that give a lot are purely giving out of the generosity of their hearts um and so if if you're giving out of that structure i would recommend to continue to give because your giving is pure your giving is true and what happens it, it's it's a simple concept of you reap what you sow so your giving is just building up a bigger blessing, a bigger receiving for yourself. So continue to give. Don't look at it as if I'm not getting anything back or um, no one is paying attention to me. You got to look at it as um, I'm giving because I, I have the ability to give and I can give. Some people don't have the ability to give. Some people cannot give. So um that's the thing you gotta look at in, in in multi different different ways and different aspects um so that's just a that's 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 a thing that really happens in our lives that um holds some people back some people give in order to receive um and not giving out of the joy graces and goodness of their heart um a lot of times um me personally I give a lot um and don't ask for things and receive me i give because i know that it will help somebody i know it'll um be be profitable for somebody so if i can continue to to bless somebody in the talents and abilities i have that means that uh, you're helping lives right there uh face on straight up so that's what i got for you i am t.o josh uh I don't know who's still alive with us right now, but just drop a question in Solutionary Sundays. We develop a solution for people and helping you uh, become and be the best self you can be. Uh, right now, we're going to start off with about 30 minutes uh, every Sunday right here live on Instagram. Um, we're going to grow and be live on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Snapchat, live on everything. It's going to be a it's going to be a real thing where multiple people can help you create solutions in your life uh, so 
I'm I'm a lot a big thing I want to do in 2023 is encourage you to think before you act, think before you do, think. Uh, a solution can only be developed by you thinking. Um, how do you stay motivated pursuing your goals? Um, the motivation pursuing your goals has to be personally a bigger aspect. You got to start thinking about where do I want to go? Who do I want to be? How do I want to get there? What are the morals behind it? And you're going to, you're going to get knocked down on that journey. You tough times are going to come. And that was a test to see how much it means to you. What is it worth to you to get to that goal, to reach that goal? And it's, sometimes it seems like it's going nowhere. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's difficult. You don't understand what's happening. Uh, but as long as you create yourself a blueprint and stay on the path of that blueprint, you can reach that goal. And, and sometimes it, things don't happen as fast as you would want them to happen. Um, they don't happen when you think they should happen. They happen at the opportune time when they need to happen. So that motivation within inside yourself, um, I would say you got to you gotta really be one with yourself, a complete understanding of yourself and why you want to do things to stay motivated to do any goal. So um, that's a great question, yeah. So staying motivated uh, on a journey to reaching your goals is is a self-belief, a self-driven process um, because uh, the the goal may not, equal the same thing as the journey the process or the means but as long as the purpose as long as the purpose of it is on the path that you want that purpose to be on you'll make it through um uh, because it hits different when you're alone it definitely does it definitely does and you got to go through that alone process in order for that with other people process to be um a a calming, soothing thing. Like we come here alone and we're going to leave here alone. We spend the most time with ourselves. So when you really like are deeply comfortable with yourself, deeply comfortable with who you are, then um, deeply comfortable with yourself and who you are, you'll, you'll be able to, push through everything and it feels better with people because we're human beings we're meant to connect and communicate with people but um it's like it's it's it's, it's the life structure journey you got to go through it to get to it you got to go through it to get through it and that journey is 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 a process of learning yourself piece by piece um from the mental side, the emotional side, the spiritual side, the, 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 the physical side, every piece of yourself, you got to go through and learn and improve. And you grow and develop that over time. Um, and that's, it's a, that's a journey in itself to commit to yourself. A lot of people want to commit to a thing, to doing something, to being better, to do this, do that. But like, have you committed to yourself to be the best self you can be in order for whatever the outcome is you're looking for to be a thing um so i would encourage you always to take piece by piece and develop yourself have complete control over your emotions your thoughts your feelings your movements like have complete control over yourself and you will definitely be able to you know to reach that goal in the time that it needs to be reached in um and so um I'm I'm happy to be able to ask answer questions and to be able to communicate with people. That fulfills me. So like going live right now, this is a new thing for me, but it's something along along the goals that I have that I need to do in order to reach that goal. So I need to do this. I have to be consistent. I have to be committed. I have to be confident in order to go live and do this because I can record on a camera all day, but that doesn't mean that I have to put it out there. I can pick and choose what I put out there. I can pick and choose when I want to put it out there. But to go live is natural, straight off the bat. It's, you can't, 
I mean, you can create notes, but once you get into it, you, you got to begin to flow. I honestly didn't believe that I could do a 30 minute segment of basically talking to myself. And I felt that like that's how this thing is going to have to begin. I have to be creating solutions and talking to myself because the platform isn't huge. I'm not going to have three, four, five hundred questions. People asking me, you know, a team that has, hey, look, this, do this question next. This question will help, you know, more than two or three people because this one is specific. And then go back to questions that help people directly and maybe send them DMs or send them emails. Like, that's a growth process. That's something that has to come over time. And that's that's how you that's how you continue to build. It has it has to be a burning desire inside of you. Uh, I believe uh, I read that uh, that statement in um, I think how to win friends and influence people like a burning desire or I don't know I've read a few books so like things that come from within you are a burning desire. Those are the things that really fulfill you that really make you feel whole and that you can deliver on twenty four seven. I said to myself, all right, I. I have to I have to get out of my comfort zone. I can't be in the same place doing the same thing all the time um, and then reach the goal that I want to reach because I'm not going to be able to reach anyone. Um, I also motivate and counsel. I have a TikTok page, uh, Just Theo, uh, where I motivate and inspire, not yet confident, uh, too sorry during podcasting live that's okay that's okay keep doing exactly what you're doing because it's a process it takes time so like i would say to start off by you don't even have to do podcasting live at this point start off by telling other people that you don't typically talk to when you having a conversation with a friend or somebody that you work with or somebody in your family Start, you know, motivating and counsel them. Um, and and not even directly, but just say, you know, listen to the things they're talking about and then give your point of view. Give your uh, advice. Give your thoughts that might be influential into them. And once you become comfortable at that point, then you, you may want to say, hey, I need to tell more people about this. And that's when you start a podcast or that's when you start putting – uh, stories or reels or TikToks together uh, about actual um, stories from other people. So what you're doing is exactly right. Taking your time, becoming better, getting more comfortable. And, and I would say create, keep creating the videos. Keep improving your skills. Keep improving your mind. Keep improving your thoughts because those are the building blocks into making the good action. This is a brand new thing for me to go live. I can create the videos. I can edit the videos. I can keep in, take out. But to go live, when you are in front of live and actual people, who you actually are, the thoughts that really run through your mind, those are the things that transition you from being in a box of saying, I'm scared, I can't, I don't know how, into a I am, I will, I can. Um, so I say do those affirmations before you get ready to counsel or motivate somebody because you, you can't help someone else if you're not in a good place, if you're not in the best place for yourself. So I can, I am, I will. Um, and those three things will, will propel you in that journey. Become consistent in it, talking to somebody different every day and helping them um, in the things that they struggle. Because we all struggle in certain things. I struggle. You struggle. Our parents struggle. Our kids struggle. Our friends struggle. Everybody struggles in something. And whatever that struggle is could be the light of your life. Like, if you said, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling at this, but let me take three, six, nine months out and commit to improving myself at it, it's going to happen. You're going to be a much better person today than you were yesterday. And so imagine how much better you were if you worked on something for 90 to 120 minutes a day 
every day for seven days. Look at where you were on the first day. Look at where you are on the seventh day. Now, after the first day, let's look at where we are after 30 days. And look how much better you will get by compound, uh, compound, I was going to say compound interest. We're not talking finances right now. By compound um, work ethic, like compounding the work that you're putting in is going to equal to a more profitable solution in your mind, body, soul, heart, pocket, relationships, everything. Uh, so I definitely, I definitely encourage to to keep going. Um, I made a video. I don't know which one it is. So I just go back through the page. It talks about keep going, keep going, because if if you've seen those memes where you got guys hatcheting through the dirt and one guy quits, uh, one hatchet away from the gold or the diamonds, and the other guy keeps going. Um, just for that one, but he kept going, and he received one. The guy that quit could have had many. So, like, quitting a process will never yield a result. You must go through it to get to it. The mind is a terrible thing to not use because the mind can never be wasted. So... Right now, that's all we got this week for um, Solutionary Sundays. I hope to, you know, connect with more people each and every Sunday. I hope to be able to help you work through something to get better, to improve the state of life you're in because everybody wants to be better. Everybody wants to improve. Um, I'm Braxton Holly. This is Ideas Inspire Information. Thank you for being here for the first Solutionary Sunday. Um, until next Sunday, we'll see you then. Um, stay tuned all week for um, all the content to come. We're gonna we're gonna do this every day, all 2023 and beyond. Because in order for us to get better, in order for us to grow, in order order for us to develop, we must do the things that we have to do to be uncomfortable and to reach that to reach that point in life that we want to get to. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I appreciate that. So. Uh, it's, it feels like we're already making progress in the first week just because you were here to communicate with us. So thank you. We will see y'all next week. Have a good week. Create solutions. Stay on top of everything you need to stay on top of. Adios.